Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month, we're taking another look at the watch list. This is one of my favorite features of Plex because one of the things that Plex has is a really good universal search engine. So for example, if I do a search here for Star Trek Deep Space Nine, I can dig into all of the seasons, of course, but I can also see where that show is available to stream if it's not on one of the servers I have access to. And so as you can see here, it's available on Paramount Plus along with a few other places too. And what's nice about the fact that Plex is indexing all of this stuff is that I've got a single place to put things that I want to see so that when I sit down at my television, I can pull it up on screen and select what I want to watch and get brought there. It's very convenient. Whenever a friend says to me, hey, did you see that new show on Netflix? I can bang it into my phone when I'm out and about and it'll show up on my TV when I get home. All you gotta do is just go and click the watch list button here and your show will be added. Now in this video, we're going to do a quick recap about how the watch list works inside of Plex. And what we're gonna do in the second half of the video is look at what you can do with your watch list data feed because it's available as an RSS feed, a very standard way to present data. And because of that, you can do some really cool stuff in your own automation workflows and I'm going to show you one example, and I think that'll get the gears turning for a lot of you to come up with some other things that you can do with it as well. So we're going to dive into all of this in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they did not review or approve what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all opinions are my own. So let's get into it now, starting with our watch list tutorial, and then we'll dive a little deeper. Now, the watch list is one of these prominent Plex features that you will see front and center on your client. So for example, here on the TV box, it's just under the home option. And in here, I've got all the stuff that I have added to my watch list. You have some sorting capability, so by default, it sorts it by the date in which you added the item to your watch list, but you could do it a different way. So for example, I could order it by critic rating here and get the highest rated content first. So if I wanted something good to watch, I could do that. I just got done watching the show called Counterpart, which I thought was really inventive, um, but we'll go back to the default sorting here. Now I can also limit it by different types of media. So for example, if I just wanted to see TV shows, I can select this and that will filter all the movies out. So if you're in the mood for some TV shows, you can filter it out that way and get the movies uh, hidden for a little while. But we'll put it back on movies and shows here. And then you also have the ability to look at where these things are available. So for example, if it's not available to stream anywhere, I can enable it to just show me what is available to stream. So if I select this option here, it will reorder the list of things that I can just find on streaming services currently. I can also do it by genre, by decade. So if I had a, kind of an inkling for something from the 1990s, for example, I can select that and it'll show me all the things that I've got in my watch list from that era. So you've got a lot of ways to kind of drill this down a little bit to find what you're looking for. Uh, what I'll do here real quick is clear all the filters. There's also a recommended tab to this watch list feature. And what this will do is give you things on your watch list that you're not done watching yet. So for example, I watched an episode or two of Fallout and Curb Your Enthusiasm, and it's putting these up on the continue watching section here to remind me that these things on my watch list still have episodes available to watch. And then it's got some other recommendations based on things that are available to stream, and it kind of goes on from there. So you've got a good amount of ability here to organize things. One thing that the watch list doesn't do though is send you any kind of notification when a new episode or a new season starts. It looks at pretty much the date in which the show was released initially. So that got me to thinking, could we do a little bit more with this feature? Could I build my own tool to look at my watch list and then remind me as to when the new episodes of that show might be coming up? A show like Severance went two years between seasons and you forget about it sometimes. So let me show you something that I've been playing with and how Plex allows you to do it. Now, if you have a Plex Pass and you go into your watch list section under your account, what you will see is an option to enable RSS feeds on your account. Now, these are off by default, so you have to turn it on. And when you enable it, you will get a custom RSS feed that is attached to your watch list. Now, this URL does not have a password on it, so you should be careful about who you share it with if you want to keep your watch list private. If you do want to disable this feature, you just hit the garbage can icon here and it shuts down your feed. But what you get when you enable this is a very standard XML file 
that contains everything in your watch list. So for example, here is the first item, Stranger Things. It includes a lot of metadata that Plex has in their database that you can use for whatever you're trying to put together. And most importantly here, if you get down to the bottom, you will see that every TV show and movie has either a TVDB or IMDB ID associated with it. And that gives you the ability to attach this number to IMDB or TVDB and pull additional data that may not be in this RSS feed. And one project that I've been playing around with is having uh, a list of shows that I've got on my watch list and seeing when the next episode of that show might air so I don't forget something that I want to watch, especially if a new season is getting released. So let me show you how this works. Right now it is a Python script and what it does is it goes out to my RSS feed, it pulls in all the TV shows that it can find, it then connects up with TVDB through their API and then matches on a show-by-show -show basis with that identification number each show. Now this code could probably get optimized a bit. It does take it a little bit of time to execute. You can see what the code looks like here. I didn't write any of this. I did this with an AI, one of the chat GPT kind of functions here. So I just typed in what I was looking for and then went back and forth a little bit. And check it out, I've got this list of shows here. Now I can take this a lot further. Right now I just have it giving me a table inside of my terminal window but I could dump this out into a database. I could have this work with Home Assistant or something to push notifications out. There's a lot that you can do here and check it out. Uh, this is the Squid Game. It pulls the Korean name of it. That's going to be the next thing that's going to get released on June 27th. There'll be a new episode of Skinwalker Ranch on July 1. Uh, we've got the new Dexter show coming up on July 13th. Star Trek Strange New Worlds comes out on the 17th of July. And then Stranger Things has its next season in November of this year. And then it's keeping an eye on all these other shows. So for example, I'm looking forward to the new season of For All Mankind when it launches. And once there's a release date, that will pop up. And I have it sorting by that release date on here. So this is something that is not baked into the watch list feature when a new episode gets updated. And this might be a fun way to be able to make use of the watch list and helping yourself plan things out. Now, I also had my AI friend make a PHP version of this that you can use with your web browser. And this one looks a lot nicer. I will put links to the code for both the Python and PHP version down below in the video description so you can play around with it too. And what's fun about this is that I can use the Plex interface for the input and then toss it over and get what I want out of it through that RSS feed. And of course that feed will update every time I update my watch list. Now you can also do some simpler things too. So for example, here I gave ChatGPT my watch list feed and I said, hey, give me some shows that are not on this list, but are fun sci-fi shows that are similar to what I currently have on my list. And here you can see it came up with a bunch of great examples. I've seen some of these shows in the past, but not all of them. And of course, none of these currently are on my watch list, but I might add a few to it. So this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg, but I do think it's pretty cool that you've got this RSS feed here. It is very easy to access it. There's no API involved. And if you do a little bit of coding or work a little bit with a, a AI coder for you, you can come up with some cool stuff, I think. And if you're not aware of this feature, it might be worth playing around with. And I would love to get from you some of the things you might be doing with your watch list RSS feed down in the comments section. That's going to do it for this one. I do want to thank Plex for their longstanding support of the channel. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.